Hi everyone! Do you have any idea about the psychoactive plants? That's right! In their quest for survival, plants have evolved to produce an amazing variety of chemical compounds known as secondary metabolites. These chemicals often serve to deter herbivores, protect against pathogens and neighbors, or mitigate the effects of radiation among numerous other uses. Interestingly, many of these chemicals react with human bodies in specific ways, ranging from organ failure and death to reactions that inspire life-saving pharmaceuticals. Come on, join us as we are going to discuss the, the psychoactive plants. For today's video, we are going to discuss the, the psychoactive plants. So, what are you waiting for? Let's, Let's get, get started. started! A hallucinogen is any chemical substance that distorts the senses and produces hallucinations, perceptions and experiences that depart dramatically from ordinary reality. Psychoactive plants that induce a form of altered states of consciousness have been widely used during the religious rituals of many cultures throughout the centuries. The, the main purpose of these plants were spiritual healing. To contact with spirits, to contact with the souls of ancestors, to reach enlightenment, nirvana or satori, to become a master shaman, pagan or a witch to reach so-called other realities and other religious rituals and different philosophical purposes. In the plant kingdom, they occur most often in the flowering plants that is called angiosperms and the more primitive spore-bearing vagina. Angiosperms family is especially known for having plants with psychoactive properties, which may include Solanaceae, Nightshade, Rubaceae or Coffee, Papaveraceae or Coffee, Erythrocylaceae or Coca, and Polvolvulaceae or Morning Glory. Wow! The chemicals in psychoactive plants may change human perception profoundly. And here are the following list of plants that amazingly affect the brains and mental states of the humans who ingest them called as the psychoactive plants. First is opium poppy or papaver somniferum. The beautiful opium poppy is native to Turkey and is a common garden plant in the United States. When the unripe seed capsules are cut, they exude a milky latex that is the source of raw opium and can be processed into morphine, codeine, and heroin. These drugs exert their main effects on the brain and spinal cord, while their principal action is to relieve or suppress pain. And these drugs also alleviate anxiety, induce relaxation and sedation, and may import a state of euphoria or another enhanced mood. Heroin and morphine overdoses often result in death. The second one is peyote or Lophophora williams. Peyote is a small cactus found only in the Chihuahua Desert of Southern Texas and Northern Mexico. The tops of the cactus can be dried to form a mescal buttons, which are well known for their hallucinogenic effects and contain the alkaloid mescaline. Hallucinations are usually visual, 
less of an auditory. The side effects may include nausea and vomiting, and POC, like most other hallucinogenic drugs, is not considered to be addictive. Third is salvia or salvia divinorum. The plant is hallucinogenic and has historically been used by shamans to achieve altered states of consciousness. The effects are intense but short-lived and include changes in mood and body sensations, visions, feelings of detachment, and altered perceptions of self. Currently, it's legal in both UK and US. The leaves can be eaten or smoked and feature an active ingredient known as salvinorin A. The fourth one is cannabis or cannabis sativa. Grown all over the world, cannabis or marijuana is probably the most widespread plant with psychoactive properties. The active ingredient, which is tetrahydrocannabinol or THC, is present in all parts of both male and female plant. But it is most concentrated in the flowering tops of the female plant. These buds are usually dried and crushed and put into pipes or formed into cigarettes or joints for smoking but can also be added to foods and beverages. Acute intoxication may occasionally induce visual hallucinations, anxiety, depression, paranoid reactions, and psychosis lasting 4 to 6 hours. Oh no! Marijuana's physical effects include reddening of the eyes, dryness of the mouth and throat, moderate increase in rapidity of the heartbeat, tightness of the chest if the drug is being smoked, drowness, unsteadiness, and muscular incoordination. Here's betel nut or areca catechu. Beetle chewing is a habit of an estimated one-tenth of the world's population. And beetle is considered to be the fourth most common psychoactive drug in the world, following nicotine, alcohol, and caffeine. Beetle nuts grow on the areca palm and are cultivated in India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Malaysia, and the Philippines. Beetle chewing releases a number of addictive alkaloids that cause sensations of mild euphoria and regular users often have red stained teeth and lips. Although it is important in many cultural traditions of Southern Asia, beetle chewing is linked to a number of serious health problems including oral and esophageal cancer and is of growing concern for health officials. Seventh is tobacco or nicotiana tabaco. The tobacco plant bears distinctive large leaves that are a particularly concentrated source of nicotine. Nicotine is the chief active ingredient in the tobacco used in cigarettes, cigars, and snuff and is an addictive drug. When ingested in larger doses, nicotine is a highly toxic poison that causes vomiting and nausea, headaches, stomach pains, and in severe cases, convulsions, paralysis, and death. Tobacco cancer and emphysema and is responsible for more than 5 million deaths per year. Jimson wheat or Datura stramonium. The leaves and seeds contain potent alkaloids that cause hallucinations. It is highly dangerous and careless use can easily result in fatalities. Users often report terrifying hallucinations and paranoid delusions under its influence and may be experience prolonged side effects such as blurred visions after it use. Many do not try it a second time. Ninth is coca or erythrocylum coca. 
Its leaves contain the alkaloid cocaine and have been chewed for centuries. The leaves can also be processed into a potent white crystalline powder that is injected, smoked, or otherwise consumed. When ingested in small amounts, cocaine produces feelings of well-being and euphoria along with decreased appetite, relief from fatigue, and increased mental alertness. Cocaine is habit-forming and when taken in larger amounts and upon prolonged and repeated use, cocaine produces depression, anxiety, irritability, sleep problems, chronic fatigue, mental confusion, and convulsions. Cocaine became responsible for a markedly increased proportion of drug-induced deaths. And that is our science lesson for today. Please like and subscribe for more science lessons. lessons. Bye! Bye.